Okay, cool. So in this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to install a custom WordPress theme from start to finish. And we're going to walk through the entire process here. My favorite place to get themes is Theme Forest. They've got a ton of themes. Um, the code is validated. You can see buyer ratings from whoever else has purchased a theme. And you can see how many times it's been purchased. If you're new at this um, and you want to make sure something has all the bugs worked out, Look for something that has a ton of purchases, like 1,000 or 500 or 2,000. You'll know that that theme is good. I try to pick stuff that has less purchases because, you know, I want my sites to look a little bit different. I usually go and change the code anyway, but um, I like this theme. I took a look at it before. It's called Little Square. It looks good. So, you know, you got to get an account, sign in, um, and go ahead and purchase the theme. Buy now with your PayPal account or prepaid credit. I don't really have enough prepaid credit in there. So we go into PayPal and we buy it. And it's going to redirect us back to Theme Forest. We're going to download the theme and once that theme downloads we're going to extract it and we're gonna we're gonna do first we're gonna upload via FTP I can show you guys how to um, how to upload a theme from within the WP admin which is not very tough uh, but we can go over it real quick while that's downloading you go to appearance on the left side on the tab and then themes um, and then you just go to install themes and right here you can click upload and you can find the zip file on your desktop not this zip file there's gonna be one that's actually within this file that you'll use and I'll show you what it looks like I clicked here so this is gonna this is gonna extract here's my little archive utility that's gonna extract right now and it's gonna be in my downloads folder um, so let me pull over the downloads folder for you Here we go. You can see what that looks like. So inside this folder, there will be yet another zip file. And this is the one you want. This is the internal one because these Photoshop files, plugins, manual, all this other stuff, you're going to need that, but it's not part of the installation that you need to install the theme. So what you would do if you're going to install it this way, choose the file, click install theme. This does or doesn't work. Sometimes there are little glitches and stuff breaks. So if that happens, or if you're like me and you just want to avoid that step altogether, you can install via FTP, which is good to know how to do anyway. Um, so we already have that theme. We already know where it is. Um, and we, we're going to have to extract this theme anyway. This is, we extracted the main download file, but this is the actual theme file we can look in there and look those are all the theme files right there um, the individual theme files so we know where it is it's um, it's in our downloads folder but this right here this is an FTP client this is FileZilla and FTP is file transfer protocol that allows you to move stuff from your local drive so this is my computer and the junk that I have on it to whatever website to whatever hosting you've got so for your host that's the URL of your website um, minus the HTTP and the www. So you have your .com, .net, .org, whatever, but at the beginning you just start with the beginning of your URL, whatever is after the www. Your username and password will be sent to you from uh, HostGator or whoever your host is, and then once you've got that you go ahead and connect. And since we already have WordPress installed, this is the root right here, um, public HTML. That's That's basically the the start of your site it's there's no subfolder there's no anything else um, so everything that we have we have WordPress installed on the root so it's on the root URL of the domain um, and we've already got all of our files in here for WordPress the theme files are going to be inside of WP content and then themes so these are your defaults 2011 2010 and 2012 they're all in there now within our our downloads folder look there's our theme right there, LS, little square, and here it is. We extracted it from that zip file, 
and now we have little square 1.0.2. So all you need to do is you can click this transfer button, but really just drag the whole folder and drop it right there. And that'll move all over all the files. That's, um, gosh, it's 1,200 something files. So it's going to take a minute for all those files to get over to the site. That's all you're really going to need to do right now um, with FileZilla. So we'll go ahead and get that out of the way. This extraction, we don't need that. Probably want to save that downloaded theme somewhere. Um, and then here, once, once that upload finishes um, via FTP, you'll be able to activate your theme right here. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and pause just for one second while that file transfer finishes. All right, so we pause there to wait for that file transfer to finish, but here we go, we've got the new theme, it's in here. All you have to do now is click activate. And this is a blank site, so I'm not really worried about it messing anything up. Um, and so this is with your basic theme installation um, that comes with WordPress. And then you hit refresh, and look at there, this is the new theme. It's, you know, not quite perfect yet because it's got their information in there and hasn't really been set up. But for the setup and how you actually put all the different elements in, you just go through the, the theme files. There's always a readme that'll probably take you to an index page that'll have a walkthrough on how to do all the setup. And this theme's great because it's already got some stuff in there for you so you can just replace the information and um, that'll make it really easy on you as far as setting up the theme. Anyways, that's about all there is to it.